all right what's up gang bull market investor back with another trading video and in this video i'm going to be giving you four different stocks that i think have the potential to be long-term holds this is long-term investments these are four different stocks that i think are beaten down they're cheap and i think that they have the potential to recover over the next month or two possibly the rest of this year but you're gonna have to give it some time. And of course, that's always risky. So without further ado, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I don't give financial advice. Um, this is strictly for entertainment purposes only, y'all. I just like to talk about the stocks that I like. Do not take my advice as investment advice. Please do your own DD, do your own research, look into these stocks. That's why I make these videos for you to put these stocks on your radar, on your list, write them down, look at them. Just remember these stocks because I think they are going to be going up in price, but anything could happen. They could also go down. Be careful out there. Without further ado, let's get into the four different stocks that I think could be long-term holds and i also have a bonus stock for you that's going to be a gamble but the stock has been on fire all right <laughs> first stock is the stock that everybody loves to hate of course those are my favorites djt ticker symbol djt all right around 18 dollars and 15 cents um it had a a low of $17.72 today and a high of $20. All right, so the stock is pretty much moving sideways. And over the course of the past few weeks, it has just been moving down. It is now at the price that it IPO'd at, at $16. So take that information as you will do with it what you want but january 12th the stock was around the same price a little bit cheaper and on january 23rd it was 50 dollars. so the stock has had quite the price movement and there's no reason why especially if trump does go and do the debates uh, right now it's not looking hopeful but if he does any debates if any kind of news crazy comes out or good comes out of the trump camp uh let's be honest he's going to be the next president i think so so this stock is definitely in my mind going to be going higher especially if he becomes the uh president and if he joins any of the other debates um anything good happening earnings is coming up on 11.3 but like i said this stock is getting cheap because now it is near the ipo price so hate it or love it the stock is getting cheaper by the week almost so i think that there's a big reversal coming in djt could be a long-term investment especially the next couple months four or five months uh we'll have to see Let's move on to stock number two. Stock number two is IEP, Icon Enterprises, at $13.10. Um, it had a low of $12.69 and a high of $13.58. In 2003, that was the last time the stock was this low, around $12. Earnings are coming up on 11.1 and a five-year low right now of this stock this is all-time low but the past five years it's down 80 percent just to give you an idea of how low this stock is this was also 50 dollars at some point um, and now it is below 14 dollars. watch out for this like i said it was below uh 12.90 is when i day traded this stock and I might be getting back into it, especially if it falls under $13. All right, stock number three that I think is going to be a long-term, good, decent long-term hold here is Snapchat. S-N-A-P, hate it or love it, $8.89. Had a low of $8.81 today. 
and a high of $9.35. August 7th, the stock was $8.30 and kind of worked its way up the next couple of days back above $9. So we've seen this before. I think today was just a bad day for the markets overall. Earnings, 1022. And year to date, the stock is down 46%. To give you an idea of how cheap and how low the stock is right now, it just seems to keep falling. But like I said, it's been lower and it has gone back above $9. I think that's what's gonna happen with Snapchat coming up pretty soon. All right, let's get to the last long-term stock that I think could be a great hold. This one is last for a reason because it's the most risky of the long-term stocks. B. Riley, R-I-L-Y. I've just been watching this stock, $5.64. It was it's up 20% today after hours. Four o'clock came around and this stock shot up. It was it was under five dollars and it shot up 20 percent five dollars and 64 cents had a low today of four dollars and 61 cents and a high of five dollars and 98 cents one month the stock is down 66 percent it's just destroyed over financials and a lot of other things too many things to go into in detail in this video but if anything good comes out of b riley which i think possibly could be some good news for it to jump 20 percent um august 8th it was 18 dollars so uh this stock has come down a long way any good news coming out of this from this company could be monumental as far as it getting back above five, back to six, seven dollars. Anything could happen with the stock. It could keep falling. All right. So be careful. Put it on your radar because um, it definitely popped back onto mine when it popped up 20% after hours, right? As soon as four o'clock hit. Um, and now, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching the video. All I ask is like, comment, subscribe. It helps the video, all right? Share this video, get it out there. But if you made it this far, I will give you one more gambler. And this stock has been on fire. GDC, GDC, $6.70, had low today of $5.80 and a high of $7.46. What a wild ride. The stock is up 11%, all right? For the month, the stock is up 407%. And over the past five months, the stock is up over 600%. Just unbelievable numbers. But that volume of 2.3 million, I think needs to increase for this stock to keep seeing the highs that it's been seeing, all right? GDC, huge gamble, anything could happen but just be careful put it on your radar because i don't see why it couldn't pop to seven or eight dollars if it has a good pre-market um run so be watch out um if you are a pre-market trader pre-market you could see gdc but you could really see any of these stocks on that list of movers in the morning thank you guys for watching as always, it's not financial advice. Just put these on your radar. Watch these stocks. I think they could be runners, definitely gainers in the next couple of months. We'll see you on the next video.